a little bit of a recap from the first season. That was fantastic. So one of the things people got to know about Percy Jackson is that he's not Harry Potter. This the movies came out like during the Harry Potter craze back in the day. Mayor, okay, I guess. I'm just have read the books and then watching the show. The movies left out a lot of important stuff. And I think the show really succeeded where the movies failed. And uh, rest in peace, Lance Riddick. They were probably never seen him again as Zeus. Once they recast, which is possible. But, uh, so season two will be based on the Sea of Monsters, which is the second book in the series. A lot of cool stuff happens in Sea of Monsters, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that's portrayed in live action on television. So Percy Jackson, Harry Potter, those types of characters, another Harry Potter was they're very successful. Those type of characters also work better on television. Now, if you can get some really good writers, you can make a really cool Harry Potter series on television. I think I've seen the Percy Jackson series. Being as good as it is, is really like, it shows how much potential there is when you have really good writers and good actors. You can see here that Percy looks a little bit older, so it was good to see. And I like that. I guess we can see this kid actually grow over the course of the series. Hopefully, it gets renewed for quite a few seasons because there's a lot of books that I want to see adapted. Or to, I definitely want to see them get the House of Hades and all that. So it's a long way down the line. Reading the books, I'm like, there's a lot of potential in this series. I hope, I really hope that uh, you get to see that adapted at some point. It's, um, so, this is obviously announced in D23. So, this is this is exciting for me. I'm a big fan of Percy Jackson, the series read the books, the movies are okay. The movies are kind of a joke now compared to the TV show because there's just so much more detail in the show than there is in the movies, naturally. It's always been an argument for like these adaptations. It's like, oh, like Borderlands is never gonna work on the film because it's a first person shooter. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking of trying to adapt that. Like, I haven't watched the film. I have no plans to, but it's a first person shooter. And I could possibly then to a movie. We can work on TV, but I'm like, some things I should just leave alone. And this this series has so much potential. And the, the season, I have a feeling the season is going to be. It's as good as the first, if not slightly better. The one thing, the books, they build upon each other. And that's, that's why I'm glad to see they got the really young cast for this. So we can see them develop over the course of these seasons. Yeah, I'm excited. 